Canva NFT tutorial 2022, how to create NFTs using Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create NFTs for free using Canva. So let's get into it. Now, the first step to getting started with Canva is to sign up on Canva. Now I have done that with my Gmail account and you can use any of your Google accounts to sign up with Canva. Now. Once you have done that, you might be wondering, how do you get started with creating a NFT using Canva? Well, it's pretty simple and you don't have to worry about it. What you're going to do is first off, select your size and it could be any size. You can do any custom size you want. Now, for inspiration, I would recommend that you go on to OpenSea.io, which is a NFT marketplace, and you can uh, take a look at the different NFTs that are currently available over there just to get a good idea of what kind of NFTs are currently popular and what is running in trend so you know what to create in your NFT. So uh, if I search for maybe something like Daft Punk, so Daft Punk NFTs are pretty popular and you can find different uh, cyberpunk actually, not Daft Punk, but cyberpunk NFTs are pretty popular as well. And you can find different uh, kinds of NFTs. Now, it depends on what kind of NFT you're looking to create on your Canva platform. Now, you can create the simple pixelated or graphic NFTs or you can also create a pixelated NFT. So to get your canvas size, you can either just go on to search Instagram over here and you can just click on Instagram post and this will open a 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel canvas for you. Now I'm just gonna use that as a blank Instagram uh, canvas. Now that's a blank square and you can opt for a larger pixel size or a small pixel size that depends on your personal preference. But I just find that that is a useful size to go with. But if you do want to change it up, make sure you go and go on to Canva. And what you're gonna do is when you're gonna click on create a design, you're gonna go and change it from pixels onto inches. So make sure you actually do that. You're gonna click on custom size over here, and then you're gonna click this from pixels into inches. You're gonna lock it. You're going to add like, let's say I want to create a 10 by 10 inch NFT, and then I'm just gonna click on lock so I can't change my canvas size. And then I'm just going to open up this new canvas. Now, I'm gonna get started with my 10 by 10 inch canvas. And what I'm going to do is I am first off going to change the color of my canvas. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just gonna select this canvas over here and you can see this color changing option at the top left over here. So I'm just gonna, going to select that and I'm going to change up the color and I don't like this one. I'm just gonna open up the color gradient and I'm just gonna go with like a really light pink because by now you guys do remember, I do really like pink. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this canvas and I'm gonna select on the color and then I'm just going to go into the document color and I can change the color I want and pick out any color whatsoever. So I'm just gonna go with this light pink. And now after that, I'm just gonna go into the element section and I can go on to the lines and shapes over here. And to create a pixelated NFT, what I am going to do, and I'm just going to select the square over here. And what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna zoom into my canvas. And actually I'm gonna make this canvas a slightly darker color to have like a good color combination. And then I'm going to set the sizes of my square. So this is a 0.7 width by 0.7 height square and what I'm going to do is I can just use these squares and lay them out as a grid and use that to create a pixelated NFT. Now that is totally up to you. If you go into the element section, you can also search for pre-made grids. So if you search for grid over here and if you go into the graphics section, you can find different grids like these that you can expand and then add to your NFT. And then you can use these as a simple way of measuring the overall size of cubicles. If you want like large cubicle NFTs, you can easily use these to make these. So you can just do this and place them just correctly. Make sure your placement of the grid is correct like that. And you can just expand it accordingly until it fits according to your personal preference like that. And then you can just place correct size boxes onto it. But I'm not gonna create a grid or a pixelated NFT on Canva. What I'm going to create is a simple NFT. So I wanna create like a pink Bitcoin logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go into the element section and you can download a Bitcoin photo from Recti's or some other royalty free image site, but I'm just gonna go search for Bitcoin over here. And I'm hoping I easily find a Bitcoin graphic that is going to fit within my theme. So let's just scroll down and see what kind of coins do I have. And this looks pretty cute. So 
I really do like this logo and I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to place it at the center of my canvas. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to search for background and I'm going to make sure that I search for that in the graphics section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some texture to add. So this is actually pretty good. This is like some texture that I can add to the back of my NFT, to the background. So I'm just going to expand this and I'm going to change the color to a more darker pink. So I'm going to go and search for that. And I've changed the color onto a darker pink. And I'm just going to add that over here. I'm going to expand it a bit more like this. And I'm just going to actually rotate this a bit. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for a square on the element section. I'm going to go into graphics. And what I'm going to do is first off, I'm just going to go into the basic squares. And I'm just going to first off actually search for a rectangle. And I'm going to open up the basic shape of a rectangle over here. Not this one, but I'm going to go into the all section go into the lines and shapes and then select this. I'm gonna send it back, send it backward. And then I'm gonna set the transparency. So I'm gonna make this slightly transparent. Now I'm going to edit the image and I'm going to make this image a bit darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna increase the saturation and I'm going to make this like so, make it a bit brighter. I'm gonna adjust the contrast to normal. I'm going to add some clarity to the image. And after that, I'm just going to just see how it looks. And I think it looks pretty good now. Now for the translucent uh, square that I added, I just added that to make my little Bitcoin logo pop off of it. And now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for square. And then I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to go into the graphics section. I am going to take out this like thick square frame. This one is a bit glittery, so I'm going to search along. I'm going to look for something that's a bit simple, like this one. So I'm going to change the color of this into a different shade of pink. I'm going to open up my brand kit and I'm going to search for like a more metallic gray shade. And I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to expand it. And I'm just going to move this into the square so it fits accordingly. And like this, I have a pretty decent NFT. I think this looks pretty good. And you can obviously keep on adding or removing things until you like it or until it fits your personal liking. And this is how easy it is to create a NFT using Canva for free. Now, if you want to mint this NFT, you're going to go on to mintable.app. So over here, you can start minting this NFT. And we already have another video on that. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and get started on creating your own NFTs today. And I will catch you guys in the next video.